Hey guys, this is Andy Hughes here with uh, Miss Case, the assistant principal at OKH. Um, I'm planning on going into the uh, education field, so we're just gonna kind of go over my resume and like what's good about it, what's bad, and what can I do to make it stand out above the rest. So, hello, Thomas Nelson Haskell. It's good to see you. Okay, enough of that. All right, um, Andy, I received your resume a couple of days ago, Miss um, Newton. Uh, allowed me to review it before you came in and so you and I've already talked about some just minor yeah. little touches um, spelling looking, mistakes and stuff like that spelling mistakes for example um, at the top of the resume it says personal info and we talked about how mm -hmm. you would want to go ahead and type that whole word out because yeah. so maybe you, know, you just didn't have enough time to type the word information yeah. so um, going over a little minor make sure you go over it with a fine tooth mm -hmm. comb over those particular things okay all right, so as we move down the resume, what do you have um, some specific questions? I know we talked about this profile Yeah, piece. I just, so for the profile, I've always kind of been confused about it. It's like, because there's like outlines and there's profiles like about me. So like, what is it that like people look for in that? So should I be describing like what I want to do at the business or like what I want to do in the future or like why I want it? Is there like a specific thing that you guys look for in those? So I'm, I'm kind of personally looking for like a personal mission statement. Mm -hmm. like what am I what am I pursuing here okay why am I pursuing this so you're saying that you you get to the point where you want to become a high school history teacher mm -hmm. and I maybe would start with that okay I'm looking to become a high school history teacher okay. and then kind of build in some of your passions not to make it really fluffy and like mm -hmm. you're just you're just fluffing it up like for real, what are yeah. your passions, and and how does that tie to what it is that you want to be? Okay. Um, because being being an educator is is not easy, and I feel like you have mm -hmm. to have some pretty specific qualities mm -hmm. um, to be able to get into that field and do okay. and do it well. So should we bring up like characteristics of ourselves in something like this too? Even? If they align to educate, you've been in school for a long time. Do you, do you know what makes a good teacher? Yeah. I can think so, so. Yeah, I guarantee it. I guarantee you in your time that you've been in school, you know of some qualities. And yeah. then you want to find those in yourself. Mm -hmm. How can I relate? And then say that I'm, I'm pursuing a high school teaching degree in, in history. Uh -huh. And here's why. Okay. Okay. Um, for the work experience, I kind of, if you notice, it's kind of like really, really wordy. So like, I just want to know how I can like break it down a little bit more. So it's it's like if you're doing a PowerPoint almost, like you don't want to see a bunch of words on a slide. You kind of want to see the, the main points and why they're important. So is there a way that I can like maybe make it a little bit more appealing that it doesn't make like turn off an interviewer almost? Absolutely. So you have concession worker and you're thinking at the age of 17, how is that going to be applicable? But as we looked through a lot of these words, it showed that you could multitask, which is a, a big deal when it comes to being an educator. You have to have your eyes in lots of places and your ears in lots of places. Yeah. Um, so listing that as a skill that you had to have as a concession worker, uh, you mentioned the long hours. You would do up to eight games in a day. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal yeah. whenever you are an educator. You spend lots of hours doing your job. So instead of having long sentences, you could just pull out those bullet points that uh, have skills that align to mm -hmm. what you know you're going to have to be as an educator. Okay. So kind of just chunk it down a little bit. Take the main points. Because I have main points, like you said, like the multitasking and stuff like that. So just like chunk it down. Right. Instead of instead of having this paragraph that's describing, just pull out the important parts. Because somebody's going to pull out this resume to start. They're going to give it a quick look. And if they see spelling errors or if they see um, things on here that aren't relevant to the position mm -hmm. that, that you're applying for, they're probably just going to drop it. Right? So, um, I think, do you have a place to start? Um, I think, okay. I think we're good. I think that kind of helps, like, lay everything out, make sure that we can kind of you know, work on it, kind of change it, maybe make it better. So. Absolutely. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to work on it. I want you to share it with me again. Okay. And then I'll uh, give you some more pointers from there. Can do. Awesome. So Andy, if I hold this up and show it to you, does this say Andy Hughes? It just really looks like I just kind of got something done and threw it together. So. Absolutely. Whenever you hand this over to someone who's potentially hiring you, you want it to scream, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the biggest takeaway that I got from this was like chunking things down. So like if you like like you pointed out, these are paragraphs instead of just short like sentences that get to the point. So I really appreciate that. I think that's gonna really like help me out a lot more. Just so like it looks more appealing and like people will like actually want to look at my resume and not just 
throw it away when they see that it's way too long. So I really appreciate that. Right. So as I learn uh, more from Miss Case about how to make my resume better, you guys should feel free to come to me. So if you have any questions about like what you need to work on or maybe my opinion on what your resume is, uh, feel free to share it with me or just get, in, get a hold of me. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out.